Hello everybody. Here's an image of my old Craftsman 20 gallon air compressor that I use for painting and airing up tires and stuff. The other day I tried to put my Ingersoll Rand impact gun to take off a wheel of my truck and I couldn't get the wheel off. I thought I had a problem with the impact gun until I looked more closely at my air compressor and I believe I know what the problem is. On the top of the air compressor I have quarter inch piping and fittings and standard quick disconnects coming off of the air compressor. And I think that's causing a uh, reduction or a, you know it's uh, not the flow of air is not good enough for the impact gun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to troubleshoot it with you and figure out where the problem is. So I'm going to start right here by putting a Milton quick disconnect a fitting on the end. We'll start there first and see how the uh, the pressure changes if any. Coming out of the air compressor I got 25 feet of 3 8 hose and on the end of this hose I put another another gauge just to show the line pressure so right now it's about 90. I'm going to connect it to the standard fitting on the uh, impact gun. The air compressor is at 90, line pressure is at 90. And if I squeeze this, it drops down to about 40. Let's change this fitting out right here and see if that makes a difference. Here's a shot of the uh, fitting I just pulled out of the air gun. It's a one-quarter NPT. It's a standard fitting you would see everywhere. I'll be changing them out with the uh, one-quarter V Milton high flow fitting. The reason they call it a high flow is because of the large opening in the center compared to the standard fitting. So this should help out a lot with the line loss. All right, everything's still the same. Compressor's the same. Line pressure is at 90, compressor regulator is at 90, and what I did is I changed the fitting right here to a high flow. Now if I squeeze this, let's see if there's any kind of improvement. So it still runs about 40, that didn't change a thing. Also if I put the gun on a different selector, it's on full speed now, full power, if I cut it back a little bit, it doesn't matter, it still runs about the same. So the line loss is the same. I'm only getting like half power on this air gun on this air compressor. Let's change out all these pipes on this compressor. Get rid of the quarter inch and we'll put three eighths. It's been about 10 days I had to order parts, so the compressor looks a little bit different now. I took all the quarter inch piping out and I replaced it with 3 8 and up. Here is a 3 8 shutoff right here. To the right is a 3 8 regulator right here. And I have a half inch filter on top. Same 3 8 hose going down and the impact gun is here with the same Milton fittings. Let's put this on a tripod and see how it works. Static pressure is at 90 and if I squeeze the trigger <laughs> looks like about 50 so it's improved a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace the 3 8 hose. The reason I'm changing out the 3 8 hose is because where the crimp is placed over here inside if you look it's very very small inside it's about a quarter inch here's a quarter inch drill and it just slides in compared to the opening of the of the fitting you can see it's much smaller 
So that's that bottleneck right there. And I'm going to see if the half inch hose will solve the problem. The compressor looks different now that I changed out the uh, 3 8 hose. Now it sports a half inch hose. Same fittings. Let's check the pressure. Okay, static pressure is 90. Drops down to 60. So I think now if I just turn up the pressure in the regulator, I'll get the 90 PSI that this impact gun requires. The pressure is now at 135. I'm getting 90 on the gun. That's what I need. So that's, as far as I'm concerned, the little compressor is fixed. But I want to show you on a, my other compressor what half inch lines will do on top. It works a lot better. Here's a shot of my new air compressor I picked up a few weeks back. This is a cross pen 175 PSI upright air compressor. But the problem with, with all these small units, especially you can tell they're small, they got wheels on them, is that they tend to run quarter inch piping and quarter inch regulators on the top of the machine. And that greatly reduces your, your CFM or your ability for your air tools to run at its best because it, they're restricted. So I immediately, when I got this one after I made sure it worked, I ripped all the piping out and I went half inch shut off, half inch regulator, half inch filter, and I have a, also a 25 foot piece of hose on this half inch with the Milton high flow connectors. Let me demonstrate how much better the half inch works compared to the other one with the 3 8 They're pretty much identical as far as uh, quarter inch fittings and then I step them up. But you'll see this one works a lot better. Line pressure is at 90 and when I squeeze it, it drops to 70. So it's breathing easier. All I do is I turn the, the pressure to 110. And I have 90 on the gun. So it works a lot better with half inch piping. Of course the small compressor you can't really do half inch piping because it's kind of small. But the bigger unit you can. And what's nice with the quick disconnects, you can simply Get rid of the half inch holes and go with a regular 3 eighths for everyday use. Makes your life a lot easier. Well, thanks for watching.